What's up guys, we're back here in the garage and I decided that we're gonna talk and jump into dealing with the young man becoming a mechanic and a little bit of a reality check for him, okay? First things first is when you become a young mechanic, you know, I've said before, the first thing you're gonna do is bury yourself in debt with tools, okay? Which is a big no-no. Take it from me, don't do it, okay? You end up spending a whole lot of money for a bunch of shit you really don't need anyway right now, okay? You had, you know, you're going to school or you're out of school. And let's just say you're going to school. So you're paying that debt, you're paying your tool bill, okay? And now, you know, you're becoming a mechanic. So when you get out of school, all right, now all of a sudden you think, maybe even you graduated with honors, pay me. I got a college education. <laughs> Reality is, it don't mean shit, okay? You still got to get out on the floor and prove yourself yet, okay? So when you go out on the floor, let's say you work in a dealership and, you know, you, you run book time. And you go do a job for eight hours, okay? Well, you got like a journeyman mechanic that usually oversees you. He gets a portion of that, that eight hours. You don't get it all, okay? And you're also not making big pay either, all right? So you do that job for eight hours and you screw it up. You're going to screw it up sooner or later, all right? Get that through your head. Just because you got some little piece of paper, okay, that says I graduated with honors, means jack shit in this world. You might as well expect, accept the fact it's gonna happen. And it's okay, because that's how you're gonna learn. Don't beat yourself up over it. But if that job comes back on warranty, and it was an eight hour job, guess what? Your ass is working for free for eight hours. And that journeyman's gotta help fix that for free and oversee you so you don't do it again. All right? so. Becoming a young mechanic in an industry is very hard. You're never going to stop learning. So when you get out of school and you decide that you're going to be a mechanic, you know, don't think you're all hot shit because you're not. And I'm telling you the reality. You're not. And I'm sorry if that offends you. I mean, I've been doing this my whole life. Look at my shirt. Nobody. Okay? I'm nobody. Because you know why? Because I know I never stop learning every day. And you're going to have to do the same thing every day. So before you bury yourself in debt, okay, and you got a tool bill, you got a car payment, or you got insurance, you know, and you got to stop and realize this is a tough industry and you're going to have to hustle and work your ass off like I have. By the time I was 23, I owned my own business. When I started out, I wanted to be a diesel mechanic. I was working on garbage trucks and porta john trucks every day. I made $7.50 an hour. Me and my wife now today, she was my girlfriend then, we lived out on our own when we were 18. I mean, it was tough. I mean, there was times we had $20 between the two of us to last us all week long. But I still got up every day and I still kept busting my ass. And I had a little garage that I rented and on the weekends I would spend that time, you know, doing side jobs so we can eat. Not so I can play with my toys. That all come later on. So you have to, sometimes you're going to have to accept the fact you're going to have to sacrifice as a young man. The world don't owe you anything, let alone in the mechanic industry. Okay, you got to prove yourself. My advice to you is don't bury yourself in tool debt. Don't go out and buy a new car. You're a mechanic. You can fix an old shit. Get yourself by for a while. Okay? And don't forget, let's face it, if you're a young mechanic, 18, 19, you got one thing on the brain, bro, okay? And it ain't slinging wrenches, you know what I'm saying? You know, okay, it's chasing women, all right? Let's be honest, okay? So that costs money, all right? That ain't free, right? And, you know, my daddy always told me, he's very old school, he always said to me, he says, you know, uh, mechanics don't live in castles, and mechanics don't have beautiful wives. Well, I mean, I live in a castle, but I got a pretty nice damn house, okay? And I got a beautiful wife, I got a beautiful daughter, and I got a shit ton of toys. My toys that you see, this is like since I've been 17 years old collecting and building. I buy them for cheap pennies on the dollar, like the charger you see over there, I paid $900 for that thing. Redid the whole car myself. I'll never get rid of it. So you don't have to dive in right out of the gate 
trying to be the man, trying to think you're better than everybody else, and you don't have to bury yourself in debt. Take a step back, because you might find yourself in a few years going, this ain't worth it. It's a whole lot of hustle and bustle for really nothing, and you never stop learning, because technology here is getting harder. And as a mechanic, I will be the first one to tell you that, maybe because I'm biased, that I don't believe the mechanic industry gets paid the honest dollar for the knowledge that we have to know. That's just my opinion. Maybe in a union shop you do. But if you don't go to a union shop, you, get, you graduate out of college, what are you really going to make at best starting out $15 an hour? Well, let's face it, kind of hard to live on $15 an hour. Not that you can't. I did it off $7.50, but times are also a little different. So I strongly suggest before you go out and you work hard to try to be a mechanic, you really think about the ups and downs of this industry and don't be afraid to come home dirty every day. I'm 40 years old. I still do. My wife will tell you she washes my clothes. <laughs> Peace out, boys.